Welcome to an alternate past. Today's video is, what if the French and Indian War had ended differently? Imagine a world where the echoes of battles fought hundreds of years ago still shape the borders, cultures, and global politics of today. This isn't just a journey of imagination. It's an exploration of how the outcome of the French and Indian War, a conflict that seems distant and detached from our modern lives, could have dramatically rewritten the world map and the very fabric of international relations. What if this pivotal chapter in history had concluded differently? What if the French had emerged victorious, or if the war had ended in a stalemate? Let us delve into this alternate past to uncover how the ripples of change might have fashioned an entirely different present. The French and Indian War, which lasted from 1754 to 1763, was but one theater of the larger Seven Years' War that engulfed Europe, North America, South America, Africa, and Asia. It was a showdown for colonial dominance between the British and the French, with Native American tribes playing crucial, often tragic roles as both allies and pawns in this imperial chess game. The British victory not only secured their dominance in North America, but also set the stage for the American Revolution and the subsequent rise of the British Empire as a global superpower. However, let's ponder the possibilities had fortune favoured the French. Had the French clinched victory or even engineered a peace treaty that preserved their North American territories, the map of North America would likely be unrecognisable to us today. Picture a vast Nouvelle France, stretching from Quebec down through the Great Lakes and the Mississippi Valley, perhaps even encroaching upon territories that would have otherwise formed the United States of America. This Francophone realm, with its mixed heritage of French settlers, indigenous nations, and possibly even freed African slaves, could have blossomed into a cultural and economic powerhouse with a distinctly different identity from its Anglophone neighbors. The implications for the indigenous peoples of North America could have been profound. While French colonial policy was by no means benevolent or devoid of exploitation, it often involved more direct engagement and cooperation with Native American tribes compared to the British approach, which leaned heavily toward displacement and conflict. A sustained French presence in North America might have led to stronger, more enduring alliances with indigenous nations, influencing the demographic and cultural makeup of the continent in ways difficult to fully fathom. On the global stage, a French victory or a stalemate would have drastically altered the balance of power. The British Empire's unchecked ascendancy might have been curbed, leading to a more multipolar world where European powers, including the significantly weakened Spain and Portugal, could vie for colonies and influence on a more level playing field. The economic impacts could have been staggering, with the lucrative sugar islands in the Caribbean and the slave trade both critical to the economy of the 18th century world, potentially seeing a shift in control that might have hastened or delayed the abolition movements. Moreover, the American Revolution might have either been delayed indefinitely or never occurred at all. Without the financial strain and territorial gains from winning the French and Indian War, the British might not have levied the taxes that so incensed the American colonists or they might have faced a far stronger French presence on the continent that could have offered support to colonial resistance. Imagine an America, or perhaps several smaller Americas, still tethered to European powers, their experiments in democracy and republicanism still born or radically different in form and philosophy. Finally, let us consider the cultural impact. The French influence on North American art, language, religion, and governance could have created a society drastically different from the one we know. French might have rivaled or even surpassed English as the lingua franca of North America, and the Enlightenment ideals that fueled both the American and French revolutions might have been disseminated in altered forms, leading to unique expressions of liberty, equality, and fraternity. Yet, as we speculate about what could have been, we must also acknowledge the weight of what was. The French and Indian War set in motion events that led to the creation of the United States, altered the fate of indigenous nations, 
and shaped the contours of global politics in ways that still resonate. As we consider these alternate histories, we're reminded of the interconnectedness of human endeavors, the fragility of the status quo, and the profound impact of seemingly distant events on the course of human destiny. In closing, pondering the what-ifs of history isn't merely an academic exercise or a flight of fancy. It's a lens through which we can better appreciate the fragility and contingency of our own world. The French and Indian War, like all historical events, was a turning point that hinged on thousands of individual decisions, environmental factors, and strokes of luck. By imagining how things could have turned out differently, we gain a deeper understanding of the forces that have shaped our world and a greater appreciation for the capricious nature of history itself. Let this exploration be a reminder that the world we inhabit is just one version of what might have been, shaped by the victories and defeats of our ancestors.